An 18-month-old girl presents with non-stop crying. The girl does not make eye contact, and neurological testing reveals that she's mentally slow and has not yet hit several, de uh, several developmental milestones. She's observed to be biting her lip. Laboratory studies reveal the following. Serum glucose is 89. That's within normal limits. Serum uric acid is 14. That is markedly elevated. Which of the following is the mode of inheritance of the likely diagnosis? So what we're hinting at here is that this child has lesh nyhan syndrome. It's a classic triad of mental retardation, self-mutilation, and gout. Okay? If you didn't know that, study a little bit. But if you didn't know that, that's okay. Because when we're done this song today, you are going to know that lesh nyhan syndrome is inherited in an X-linked recessive fashion. So the answer to this question is D, X-linked recessive. We're going to go through that song today. Now before I get to the song, i got to give you the list of the diseases. These are high yield. X-linked recessive diseases are rare in clinical practice, but super common on the boards. High, high yield. The reason is, well, they're all over the place. These diseases encompass so many different clinical presentations, and they're so rare and have so many unique clinical symptoms with buzzwords that examiners love to go after this because they want to see if you really studied, right? The other diseases out there are kind of common, and they're not really, they're also, they're almost like too common that they don't make a great test question. But X-linked recessive diseases, you bet your ass, these are coming on your board's exams, all right? So here we go. Hunters, Lesh Nyhan, Fabry, Menkes, uh, Menkes disease, Wiscott Aldrich syndrome, G6P dehydrogenase deficiency, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, Bruton's A gamma also known as X linked Bruton's A gamma globulinemia. Wow, that's a mouthful. Hemophilia A, hemophilia B, and our good old diabetes insipidus. So I'm going to flip the slide and teach you guys the song. It's pretty self explanatory where all the diseases lie in the song, but let's get to it. All right. Uh, this is going to be to the tune of the Itsy Bitsy Spider, a childhood favorite of mine. The itsy bitsy hunter's name was Lesh Fabry. He shot the manky wasp in G6P. Up came Bruton. What a douchey guy. A and B are X linked. Don't forget DI. All right, so that's pretty self explanatory. Everything in the song is pretty much what the name of the disease is, with the exception of a few. So let's go through those. Wasp is Wiscott Aldrich syndrome. The reason that I wrote it as WASP is because the mutated protein is called the WASP protein. So that's just a good fact to know. But WASP is Wiscott Aldrich syndrome. G6P is uh, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Bruton is Bruton's. Okay. Douchey is Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. You got douche, Duchenne's, douchey, pretty much identical. A and B, of course, are hemophilia. And then DI is diabetes insipidus. Also, Lesh Fabry is two different diseases. It's first, it's Lesh Nyhan syndrome, and then the second one is Fabry's disease. Okay, so don't mix that up. If you sing this song to yourself once a day, and it takes about 30 seconds, as you just saw, you will memorize the X linked recessive disorders. And it's very, very common, as I said already, for X linked recessive disorder, disorders to come up on exams because they are very rare but have a very unique presentation, okay? So good luck memorizing these, and I hope you guys enjoyed the song. <laughs> 